Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are hanging out here on the Citadel this afternoon working on the iron farm here in the spawn chunks on the server. We have been working on this for, I think this is our ninth stream, taking a crack at this and we're getting real close to finishing it up. We've got the uh, foliage coming in on uh, two of the four sides. I think I started on the back as well, although I didn't get very far. Yeah, I just sort of did the back back left there. So we're going to swing this around and work on a little bit more on the other side. We also removed the green uh, area and unfortunately we have to put it back. Uh, there are golems that are not making it into the melting pot. I have not witnessed it myself, but these guys shouldn't be walking around. There should not be any spot for them to spawn up here. So again, if we switch over and look at our spawning uh nope that's the wrong key here so if we look at our spawning spaces we've got everything spawn proofed inside of this here it's either buttons or bushes um and then the access box or the scanning box for the villagers is also up there so these guys are coming in like there's a third one right there that I didn't see a few seconds ago. So we have to put the column back. I think I prefer it anyway. So if we're looking at it and we decide to put this up, there it is with the green column and here it is without. There's just something missing. It just feels a little light, right? So we're going to replace the column. Uh, that's an easy first step. I still have all of the things in my inventory so we'll go ahead and do that now. Bear Pit, hello, how's it going? Thanks for the follow. Uh, Gamer Arcas, hello. And Mindrip Media, 100 bits. Thanks ever so much. So I think what I'll do is I'll put the columns back in. And... I may change what they're made of up there, so I should probably bring... I've got some moss with me. In the process of putting this back up, I was wondering if I could try and change the texture of it a little bit. I also think that it might need some sort of transition here. And... I don't think... Because the base of it is is here. Right? It goes like this. And so I'm thinking maybe we add a little copper to this somehow. For that, I'm going to need to dump some inventory space, though. So if I grab maybe some copper slabs... And maybe some copper stairs. We'll see. So we've done some stairs and slabs around the bottom here. I don't think I want to build that up. I think I... Although this might feel like it's then part of this, which could be good. I don't know. So let's try this. We could also try the trap doors as well. That could be kind of a fun Oh, yeah. Do we want to do those or maybe copper trapdoors? Don't have any copper trapdoors on me. Simply Clover, I've been fantastic. Thanks very much for asking. How are you? This might, oh, I see that's too much. And then that doesn't work there if we do that. I really do like that. 
That looks okay. I like that it gives like little bits to look at, so that's kind of cool. Two golems are stuck in the corner. I'm very curious to know where these other golems are coming from. If they're not hitting the edge here, I don't know where they're coming from. Maybe we do that. That could be cool too. Have a little bit of a mix. Yeah, I think that might be a little bit too much. And unfortunately, I can't fix that. Unless I do this, maybe. That's okay. I don't mind that. It feels a little bit more of a sloop. Copper rods. I don't know about copper rods. I think I prefer the copper slabs over the trapdoors. Exposed. That's the last one, right? Yeah. That could be interesting to mess with. Let's clean up the inventory a little bit. I'll need some of those. Not gonna use the jungle, I don't think. At least, oh no, vines. Vines we don't need. Mosaic Dream, hello, welcome in. Be very careful up here. So I think I prefer that to be copper and then maybe we'll work it out so that it oxidizes a little bit as it travels. Yeah, I think that helps it stand out a little bit. So I feel like this is a decent transition. And then maybe we can go even farther as we need to go higher. Now there's, I don't know how many of these guys there are. At least three, four now. Where are they coming from? If anybody sees one spawn and I miss it, let me know in chat. Please and thank you.
get the feeling it has to be up there somewhere the spot uh with a three high gap but so the thing is with the three high gap with the golems they don't um if they spawn up there they won't walk off but you're thinking there's a three high gap somewhere up top and they're getting squeezed out somehow I'd have to record it. We've got four. I don't see any spots that are spawnable. This has all got trapdoors on it. They're all buttons. It seems to be happening over in this area, so maybe it's over here somewhere. Technically, that's a spawning space, but it's not high enough, right? It sucks that they keep on moving, because, of course, then we can't... Um, well, maybe I can pin them in. Can they walk through scaffolding? If I fence you in down here, oh, you can walk up scaffolding. All right, never mind. Because this is what I don't want. Now there's five. Where did. I think that was him right there. He just. He spawned up top, didn't he? I think I caught that. He hit the back there. I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. Unbuttoned copper block on the left pillar. Nope. I think I, yep, there it is right there. So they're hitting the side. So you need, um, you need the, um, if you don't have a big enough hole, right, which we do not, you need the, the pillars to, to sort this out. So that's what we'll do now. Because otherwise this is going to be a real pain. was worth a shot thought we might be able to um, have a different design but I guess we gotta keep it lesson learned I'm gonna have to deal with all those golems bow and arrow should do it well I keep on doing that So I was thinking about trying to add some texture to this, but I think right now what I want to do is just get it back in. I'm glad I caught that on camera, so at least now I know.
just get myself off to the side here. Can I get that? Am I out of concrete? I'm out of concrete. They must have they must have died in the fire. <laughs> it's alright. We'll fix it. No. Uh. Okay. That should do that. So now I want to make sure that this is going to continue to work. So I think it's time to grab a bow and arrow and end these guys. Did I not bring that with me? Maybe I didn't. I could have sworn I normally bring it around. Oh, here it is here. feel like the golem is getting harmed up in here somehow. I don't know why, though. I don't know if that affects what the villagers will do. Probably going to take forever. Thankfully, they don't heal themselves. Actually, it's not taking that long. I think six was the total. That looks like everybody. So I want to hang out here at the top a little bit. Obviously we have to worry about snow. I want to see what might be causing the golems to take damage. Uh, what's the first redstone farm you made in the world? Uh, it was a sugarcane farm, actually. It's just over there. Well, he seemed to spawn okay. Every once in a while, I hear them take damage, and I don't know what it is. I wonder if it's... If their heads are in those blocks, maybe? The water pushes them through the slabs. Because that's... Yeah, that would be within their head... Head space. I've got enough rockets to show you the farm. Hold on. It was... This. 
this very, very well lit sugarcane farm. That still works. Actually, it's probably been piling things up since we've been working and loading the area. Uh, so it's just observers and pistons, and there's a row of redstone behind them. And then the whole thing has got an empty glass column, and then there's this water, this water flume. But I made it look like it's part of the waterfall. So there's this natural waterfall that was there that kind of redirected to make it look like it runs in front of the farm. And then it just comes down and goes into a chest down there. Yeah, we did a lot of the, the farms around here like that. The the log flume. I get really excited with um, 1.13. Because we started the server just like two months before 1.13 started. And I think that I had already like heard about it. So I was designing stuff kind of anticipating. Um, actually, I remember I did that stuff with... 1.12 and then I had to go and change a lot of the farm designs because stuff in water used to just come to the edge of something like it used to just come right to the edge and just drop just like immediately drop right off the end but in 113 they added momentum so the my items were shooting past my hoppers and so I was getting like litters of items on the ground but I wasn't collecting anything in the chests so I had to go through and like retrofit everything I'm pretty sure if you go to um not Joel Duggan VODs but if you go to Joel Duggan on YouTube then you'll see some of the very, very first edited videos that I did in the area. And they were all, all those farms over there. It was like fixing the pumpkin farm and fixing the sugarcane farm and uh, taking care of a lot of that stuff when 113 dropped. All right, I think we're good here. I don't think I need to add anything else. I don't think these would look... Nah, it's a little bit too much. But I think that helps with the transition. It's cool to look at from the bottom. I obviously didn't wax that one. These are all waxed. So then really the next thing is going to be, well, one, I'm going to trim that vine, um, adding in the foliage and stuff all around this. So we've got to go up and do, I'm going to put the scaffolding back, I think. Jungle leaves, azalea, we're going to need more of those. And... Moss... Carpet... Hunter Triple Five gifted a tier one sub to Blast Jordan. That's amazing. Thanks so much, Hunter. Really, really appreciate it. And another 100 bits from Mind Trip Media. Thanks very much. And thank you, Sandy. Where will we get more poppies? Poppies are. There's a chest full of poppies. While we've been working, in the hours that we've been working, this is the iron. I filled this one with slabs so that it's just this chest. And then the poppies are over there. It's almost even.
So I think what we'll do is we'll put that platform back probably here. Whoops. And then we can go and add some foliage up here. So we sort of started on it. What did I do on the inside there on this side? Nothing. Do you feel like we need to put something over here? That may or may not stay there. Yeah. What's behind this? Yeah, that works. Where else can we fit some stuff in here? I don't think I want to mess with the bottom. Certainly where those buttons are would be a good spot. Then we need to remove the buttons. Just here to say my usual hello. Have a great stream. Thanks very much, Cosmic. Take care. Best to the, give a give all of our best to the family. All right. So let's go with what did we do on the other side? It's a very different space. So we'll go with something. I feel like this could be beefy. We could have quite a bit going on here. I do see a spot where the jungle will actually work. I forgot that we're going to have the falling leaves animation on this too. Which is going to be cool. Feels a little strange there. Maybe what we'll do is instead have something come down from the top here. Actually, this whole thing could just go right over the edge.
feel like that's probably pretty good. Yeah. That could even be beefier. Got to remember once we get up to a certain height, uh, snow accumulates. Does anybody know what level that is? Is it 90 something or is it 100 plus? I don't remember. Last day of work for the week, says Hunter. That's awesome. I don't want to put carpet on everything. I might try that fern trick that somebody mentioned. Just out of curiosity, I, I doubt that people will necessarily be able to tell, but I've put up sound panels this week in the studio, uh, including here in front of my my streaming PC. Mostly my concern was the older microphone that I use on my podcasting PC, but uh, this newer Yeti X seems to do much better. But I'm curious if anybody can hear less echo on the audio. Not that I think it would be that easy to really hear on a stream, but we could even add one more. Snow had, with snow lines ranging between levels 153 and 168 across all biomes. Well, I am not that high. I'm only at 113. You hear resonance, but not quite an echo. Interesting. That's not a setting on the mic. Because I've got a noise gate. Are you hearing maybe the noise gate? I've got a fan on in the background, but you probably shouldn't hear that. Uh, oh, biome is wind-swept hills. So wind-swept hills is probably different. 113. Aha. Thank you. Sandy and we it's so it's just it's just this yeah so it's this in the top layer so we're okay down there it's just here and higher we'll have to sort it out so stuff like this I was wondering if we could do things like this put in a fern oh crap it's gonna be like that I forgot about the silly biome color. Ger arg. All right. We could use azalea saplings, maybe. I'm not hearing any golems take damage. That's good. That does not look as good as I wanted it to. That's a little bit better. Maybe I'll add one to the bottom here.
and for the record i'm thinking about these carpets here as they are um connecting not as spawn proofing it's more about like connecting this to the block next to it i think that's pretty good feels very linear though maybe we need to dump this one out by a block a little bit better you know I think maybe this is a no maybe what we'll do instead is mossify that At the top almost done getting there I feel like this could be a really good spot to hang a glowberry if we put moss in there And I'm at a bow meal. It's always something where you just get yourself in the right position and you have to leap away. What I should do is just make myself a platform out here. Something easy to land on. I mean, I hear your voice fill the room. Is that the echo you're talking about? Uh, no, no, no. I definitely had an echo, not like a like not not like a cave echo, but like I definitely had some reverb happening on my other my other streams, not streams, podcasts. Pardon me. And add some lights. Fun times, and now we just have to decide. Uh, that's all spawn proof because of the trapdoor, so it's only this back part here. And I feel like this corner is probably the good candidate. That's all good. That kind of connects and I don't I don't like that. Which is unfortunate. Um, that'll be okay.
No! Ugh, completely overshot. <laughs> uh, thanks, Justin. Appreciate it. I find the trick with this Yeti Axe is actually to not get too close to it. There's a couple times when I was listening back to my streams for quality and I was like, ooh, I sound like I'm a little bit too close to the mic. And so I find like a good, I don't know, eight inches, six inches away from the mic is best. If I get too close and it's it's too too personal, whereas if I sit back here, it's a little bit more natural. And plus, if I get excited or if I need to, you know, communicate to somebody like a big thank you for a donation or something like that, that I'm not screaming into the mic. That I wanted to do, I wanted to add one in here. You know, I think that's actually pretty good. All right, so have we missed anything here as far as spawn proofing? Uh, that has got trapdoors. That's got trapdoors on it. That's good. This has got far too much moss, but there's really not much I can do about that. We've not missed anything over there. That's all good. That could... I think that's okay. I've also been inconsistent with the insides of these pillars. I think I'm going to switch it to stripped spruce. Which, it's only this one spot that I've not done that. I think there's probably stripped spruce behind it. I don't have any stripped spruce on me, so let's hope that that's the case. i got to go down and sleep anyway. Yep, yeah. okay. Felt like there was just too many trapdoors. So that is a three wide space. So maybe we will a three tall space. I know it's not wide enough for a golem, but I'm still gonna cap it here because you really can't see that. Uh, yeah, the hidden glowberries are cool, right? I might. Uh, I might want to add more of that over there. I'm not sure what else they can connect to. Can you just put them on anything? How's that for traversal? Kind of a dark corner in here. Oh, you can. Sweet. I think I picked up most of those. It's only back here when some of the lights got dim. Kind of makes the back look cool. We'll put another one down in there. Is there one in there already? Something else I'm looking forward to doing is getting rid of the ugly um, buttons. Oh, I'm going to sleep inside, I think. Yep, 
Yeah, they can be grown from the bottom of most blocks, except for the block that you want to grow them from the bottom of the most, which is um, leaf blocks. Welcome in, Loki Loki. You all need a little more low key in your life, right? Depends. Depends on how you spell it. <laughs> good to see you again. Hope you're having a good day. So I think that's the back. Sort of done. No, that's the wrong button. Now it's underneath this. That's a bush. Can't hang anything there. I'm thinking we just add one right there like that. That's already been snipped, I guess. Now we were adding shroom lights in here. And they were the side of the column. Why didn't I put it back here? Is the question. No. I was holding shift, I swear. Okay. Uh guess we'll just That's water, so we're gonna put that right here. goes down to there, so we'll probably something like that. Actually, maybe we'll do more. Hmm, don't know about that. Yeah, that golem. Uh, 
Ah, so they're spawnable in there. That's what's happening. All right, well, that's an easy fix. I knew I was hearing it. I mean, it's not really that bad. It's just like it, it doesn't break the farm. It's just lo it's just some some loss. Should still have trapdoors on me. Yeah, I do. All right. So what we can do is use trapdoors over there. Only this one space here and probably that one space over there. Uh, not that it matters how it looks, but I think we'll do that. Or I could use a stair. see the other one I think that's fine I think that's about right. Now I just heard another one. Where did you spawn and take damage? Maybe under the stair? But that doesn't make any sense. It must be underneath the, uh, the slabs. Oh wow, that looks pretty terrible. Need a lot more on this side. It always sucks when you want to put something on the bottom and you can't reach. Just low enough. I'm going to put another vine over on this side. Yeah, I want one right there. Maybe I can... I guess... that
So far, so good. Stream time is at an hour. Thanks very much. Appreciate the heads up. Uh, and Citizer, thanks very much. I'm really glad that you like the design of the farm. I do too. It's been a lot of fun. Well, folks, I do take a break once an hour, and I have been reminded by the lovely Sweet Sandy uh, that it is time to do that. So refresh your coffee, grab a drink, grab a friend, let them know that we're streaming. It's at Joel Duggan on social media, and I'll be back in five or six minutes.
Right, let's see if we can finish this up. I want to get all this foliage done, so I'm no longer faffing about out here with the, the greenery. So we've got to do the back side here, but I also haven't really done much on the top. Let's go up there. And I guess I'll try to bring it into this area a little bit. This is where we have to be careful of the snow. Oh, oh it's in brainy leaf blocks. Always something. There's always something. It's funny, you know, sometimes you want to, you almost have to cheat a little bit where if this is not visible from any other side, which it really isn't, then you can throw in a moss block. I don't know if I've done that in other spots. So sometimes they're visible from the outside, but then other times they're not. Uh, okay, well that might be visible from below. Yeah, I'll leave that one. I think I did that over here somewhere. So this is all 114. So really we'd have to figure out a way to spawn proof this. It's only string and carpet, right? Like I, there's not really anything else I could do. I wonder if I got some green carpet, if we could mix it up a little bit. It might not be the right color. Oh, that was supposed to be there for the trapdoor. Okay. And this is at 112, so that should be okay.
So I don't know if the green carpet, we'll probably test it down here. Actually, you know, that's not bad. That might be a good way to at least have it not look terrible. And we could bring some string, I guess, just to kind of see. I can't think of anything else to put up there, though. So if we thought about this in like a logical way, I guess I could put the the um, green carpet kind of like in lower areas or middles. Create a little bit of a pattern maybe. We're gonna need more carpet. I think that looks okay. Not that it's a huge deal, but there are people with Electra on the server and it might be nice to have it look good from above, too. It looks all right. String, unfortunately, just looks like string on top of something. It's not the end of the world, but I think I prefer the carpet solution. At least for now. Plus, it's pretty straightforward. I missed anything? No, that doesn't look like it's in the right spot. Pick a gnome. Thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. And uh, Citizer, I think I said thanks for the follow, but if I have not... Thank you. All right. I think I think we're good there. I think maybe this front part needs another block over there. 
The hard part is seeing where you want to put something and then figuring out where to stand so you can do it. I do need to add a little bit more in the middle here, but I have to wait till I take the scaffolding down. Thanks for the heads up, Agro and Crisscrossed. Uh, it's slightly modded Picanome. It's uh, we call it kind of vanilla plus. Most most of the mods are either performance or things like a map or this um, free cam that helps Im immensely with these high builds and seeing what I'm doing. Now I'm just starting to like notice little things, the single block things I want to try. And then there's single block things I cannot try. like that works so I've got to be careful if I want to put a leaf block in here it's going to be visible so I can't do that I wonder if I just hung something from above I think with the right carpet on it, it should be okay. Uh, oh, there is a prowl raid. Sorry, I thought the I thought the prowl raid was incoming for the heads up. Uh, prowl, thanks very much. Prowl eighty four thirteen. Coming in with a party of 24. Uh, thanks, Sandy, for the reminder. And I'm not sure why I didn't see the actual notification. Um, Prowl, thanks so much. What were you up to on stream? I didn't see. Did I get a message from you in chat? Apologies. Oh, there's the raid. Where's the Prowl message? Prowl was playing Minecraft. Prowl 8413. You can go follow Prowl uh, and see what they're up to on stream. Thanks ever so much for the raid. Uh, folks, welcome in. My name is Joel Duggan, as you might have figured out, and I am a full-time podcaster and streamer. I co-host the Spawn Chunks with Pixel Riffs, and I stream here on the Citadel most of the time. And we're working on an iron farm. Uh, there are the guts in there with a the zombie there and some villagers scrambling around in there. The golems go down the tube and they get burnificated in the furnace melting pot with all kinds of steam pipes and other cool stuff and so we're just trying to finish up the top of this and uh, i think i'm pretty good i don't know if i need any more feels like it needs a little bit more like over here though i'm not exactly sure how to do that I don't have anything to hang it off of I guess I could make a little, little twisty part there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's add a little bit out the front. Do you use water in your design? Yes. Yeah, there you can hear it. It's right right there. Actually, I can just I can show you a little closer. 
There's waters in the corners, and it just goes down into a trap. And this is how it works. Zoop. And so if you're not familiar with the mechanics, the white box centered around the villagers is where the golems will spawn. And that's why we're covering this in leaves, uh, because we are um, spawn proofing all of the platforms that a golem might spawn on. So the only spawning spaces are the ones down there in the water. Uh, and then the gray box is where the villagers scan for new golems or for existing golems if they're going to make a new one. And previously this farm was too low and we were getting golems spawning on the ground here. And so um, it's a seven-year-old farm that we updated and now it's working just great. Oh, you're welcome, Daddy Bro. Thanks for coming in. Appreciate it. And that's another reason why we like little mods like that free cam because it just it allows us to show on the server um, myself and my server mates like the the different um, angles and stuff now, I don't think I need to go up or down here I guess I could have We'll just do that for now. Thanks for all the follows, folks. Really appreciate it. Glad you're liking the stream. Uh, this is Java. Seven-year-old forever world. I think that's all that really needed. Just need to spawn proof a couple things over there. We're good. Maybe we'll add another one here. Oh, that looks awful. I need to get rid of that top one. I think that put that down by a mistake. I think I meant to do a carpet. All right, I think I'm looking forward to now moving on to other parts of this design. I feel like we've got everything sorted up top. I think it's maybe just the back that needs doing. And I obviously need to trim a vine or two. I think maybe more vines are better than less. I've got three on this side and it looks pretty good. I feel like I could maybe add, add one up in there. All of this requires a lot of up and down. Quite happy with that. And yeah, it's just, just the backside there. All right, let's just see how far we want to go down. Maybe another two blocks over here. 
And we can fill this space in. And then maybe that's it. Maybe you don't go overboard with this one. Or I could add another vine here. Probably looks pretty cool from the front. Yeah. Give it some depth. I think that's good. Bang. And where did we need to trim one of these? It was over here. I'm going to take off, honestly, probably just a block. No, I'll take off two. This seems to have a lot more layers going on. I wonder if this would be better off longer. It's a little bit better. I think I'll change that up there. Just to give it a little bit of a different texture. Whoa. Glad there's not a giant hole filled with lava there anymore. That would put your heart in your throat. Uh, McScrew gun, hello, hello. That's how you call a McScrew gun, by the way, folks. Just fall off something. Okay, let's take a look. Could maybe add a glow barrier or something on the front. There's not much space for a glow barrier on the side, although I could. That replaces the trapdoor. Maybe a glow, like a vine underneath that. And another one there. Yeah, single and a triple. This is the painstaking part of like, I want to do this, but I don't want to build the scaffolding up to reach it. So like how, how good, how much can I sneak in here and do this this way? Now there's a light right there. I don't think I need that to be glowing. And then over here, and I, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna chop this away. Oh, 
Looks like we have to do the scaffolding. I need to get rid of all these buttons, too. Because they're ugly. Uh, let's go up here. No! Silly scaffolding. Or scaffolding. That's also the word that I want. Okay. Alright. And snip. It's really funny when you are very used to having just the golden carrots in your inventory and then you've got glowberries, shroom lights, and even copper. And I keep on trying to grab them by accident and eating them. <laughs> I mean, glowberries you can eat, but like I keep on looking for my carrots as the only yellow thing in my inventory and it's not at all the case anymore. All right, so we're going to need... I think that made a nice difference over here. Don't, there's no other real spots to put those because the trap doors are on the outside space. But I can't really do any more over here. Just maybe there, which I should have done while I was up there. And on the front, Can probably put a berry there. Those are on that space, so that's tricky. Also, I've got trapdoors where I'm not supposed to have trapdoors. Crap. I remember doing this when I was building my very first Minecraft build, called it Snake Mountain, and I was just, there was no scaffolding back then, seven years ago, and it was tedious. I think we can double up here. We can go one, two, three. I don't think I need glowberries there with the lights. I think we should be fine. First time it's rained on the stream. You're right. Yeah, it's been pretty good so far. And I want to put something up here somewhere. And there's nowhere to hang a glowberry from. Hmm. Can't do it there.
can change it to moss maybe. Do like how that looks. Maybe if I expand this a little bit, like here, no, there, I could change this into a moss block. And then switch this out for blueberries. I think that looks okay. So to go up and make sure that I've spawn proofed with carpet. It's really good to do this at night, too. So this still feels like I'm missing some places, but there's not any other spots to put things. I guess under here would be one. Can I do that on the front anywhere? No, it's all got stuff underneath it. Except for right there. Uh, is shearing vanilla glowberries a vanilla thing? Yes. Yeah. You just right click. And it stops them from growing. Unless you manually put something. Um, like unless you manually put something in front of it. I see you hanging over there, Mr. Creeper. Now here, I'm just going to put in something temporary. I don't think I want them to be lit up. Actually, that's not bad. Maybe I need to put some glowberries on that one. Can I reach it? I might be able to. The other one I cannot. I'm trying not to overlight the build, but at nighttime I'm noticing that there's just some dark corners in the design, and I think that really helps. Uh, thanks, uh, Julie. Appreciate that. I 
I think we're good. Time to remove this nonsense. I guess I could be more careful with this and be picking them up as I go. My scaffolding is way down there? Wow. That's right, I'll get most of it back. That's fine. That's that one. Uh, this is what I want. Is the top all slabs non spawnable? Uh yeah. It's um it's all carpet. Moss carpet and green carpet. And so that's well blo I mean they're also it's leaf blocks are non spawnable, but the carpet is actually to block snow. We are one block into snow forming in this biome, and so we have to be careful. So now the only thing left to do is put the glass up these columns and then potentially put in a light in the middle, maybe. Little clean inventory space never hurt anybody. Keep a couple of those. Might as well keep that stuff on me in case I need it. I don't think we're going to need the jungle leaves. Okay, so the next thing is trimming that. No, there's um, shroom lights in the middle. Oh, that's not tall enough. And how many blocks do I want to take off of this? Probably... Maybe just the one. And do I want to add any glowberries to it? Probably on this third one down here at the bottom. One, two, three. Did you paint this? feel like we're going to need more than a stack. We'll see. I 
Now this is a real, real pain. <laughs> Pardon the pun. They're just so hard to stand on. So I'm not going to do all four. I'm just going to do this one and see if I like it. Right, and here's where I don't know how we're gonna connect them because it does it's gonna connect funny up there. And it's gonna connect funny there. So I don't think I like it going over the light so I need to have it hit something here and it could be just as simple as putting that out a step farther as we did over here which makes sense so I'll go this way Now that technically is outside the box, so that should be fine. And then I guess I just have to turn this. So what I was thinking about is turning these into solid blocks. That or I could put the stair there. And then instead of that, because this is invisible, we could have either that light shine down or we could put a shroom light there. And then have these be stairs that sort of cover it up. That's close enough. From down below, you're never going to see that difference. Now that, unfortunately, this is just going to have to be a full block. Like that. And then that other one, I don't remember what that other one is. That's just the back of the stairs. So that's fine. And then up front, we'll just do the same thing. And that should be okay. Yeah, I think that tracks. And then we've got the light coming down from below. Now I may, that's where I may change. I might, what I might try to do here is I might put a verdant frog light in this one and see which one I like better. So one of the things about having um, multiple repeated designs in a build is that you can do a lot of a b testing while you're building and not have to like worry about them all how does this look Yeah, I'm not crazy about that. I may want to put a bush over that. Because I kind of want those, the copper ones, to show up the most. So either a verdant, we'll try that, and we'll also try putting a, a, a bush over it as well. Which won't block the light. But the idea is that it's hard to see because it's still sunny, but you can see the light from the frog light below here. 
and then you can see the light not the frog light from the shroom light kind of coming down here and it fades to about there and then there's a section and about a third of it in the middle is dark so we'll wait for the sun to go down and i guess i can try the other one Yeah, stairs and panes do connect in a good way. I think you're right. Let's go. Oh, this is probably fine. Guess I don't need shaders on. I'm going to need to be a little bit higher. So the pattern was we removed this. Put the light source there. Pretty sure. Oh, does that have a direction to it? it does. I've not really worked with these very much. It's better. It's the right level, right? No. goes or place the copper block was that not waxed oh that might have been the one I just broke Right, so stair here. This is now solid. This is a stair. And then a stair around the front. Right? Yes. Oh, and that needs another copper block in front of it. Do I like that? It's fine. I think I just need to add another copper block up there. That's the case. Which is actually not a bad idea. And that is inside the space. So I'll be sure to add a carpet just in case. So from down here, it's hard to tell without the glass over top of it. Scaffolding, so close to being handy. I don't know if I like the frog light better or not. I think it's a little distracting. I think what I'd like to do is have some bush texture in there. Yeah, the white is not great. It does not, there's no other white in the whole build. Thanks, Sandy, appreciate it. Yeah, I like the shroom light too. I think the combination is going to be the shroom light with the um, with the the leaf block. 
I, I always call them bush blocks and it's not the name. <laughs> it's not the name. Yeah, I'd say that's the ticket. Sweet. Well, that decision's made. That's cool. No. Oh. Also, that decision was made. <laughs> oh boy. Well, we're almost there. Uh, all of the major decoration decisions, I think, are done. We just have to go ahead and execute some of the smallest little bits left. And we should be good. Farm is performing as we want it to. We did have to put back the center column, but I think it does look better with it. We need it because obviously it doesn't function. But here's a really good example of like the difference that this green glass makes on this one side versus not. It's very simple. It's just a, such a simple, simple thing, but I really think it adds a lot to it. I'm on the fence as to whether these columns are a little bit bare. Do you think that we need a little bit of something as far as texture goes on the way up? Let me know. Um, I'm also feeling that this corner is a little bit strange. Um, feels a little bit like because you can't see the top of this it's a little bit odd but uh, anyway this is where I'm going to pass you along to somebody else playing Minecraft I'm going to refresh my streams here just to make sure I'm not sending you somewhere where they have ended um, I'm going to send you along to oh pearlescent moon is done Looks like Megabyte is doing some collaboration stuff. Who else do we have here? Well, we'll fire you over to Megabyte. Megabyte's a, a really good time. I think you'll have a, a, a good time there. More Minecraft, as per usual. You can, of course, follow me on social media at Joel Duggan. Very easy to find. And uh, do yourself a favor and listen to the Spawn Chunks. We spent this week talking about the latest snapshot. Huge news from Minecraft this week. So lots to talk about there. The Citadel Cafe is another podcast to do about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. It's available on all of your favorite podcasting platforms. Both the Spawn Chunks and the Citadel Cafe are available to listen to on YouTube. You can watch on YouTube actually for the Spawn Chunks. We do a video podcast for that. And uh, don't forget to check out Patreon. It's one of the best ways to support your favorite streamers. And if that's me, then I thank you very much. It is less than a cup of coffee per month to help me stream more often. So check it out, patreon.com slash Joel Duggan. I'll be back again tomorrow at one o'clock Atlantic. That's UTC minus four hours for some Lego where we're building the West Hill main gate, a mock designed by Grandpa Crafter, a member of this community. I will see you all then. Have a fantastic Thursday. Bye for now.